This is the Murphy bed I built when we were doing the addition on our house. And the way I set it up is I built a frame here with shelves next to it. And that's mostly just to hide the bed when the bed is up. And you can see I put a little peg here which allows it to that kind of holds that side in. That's just a little peg. Uh, the main peg goes into the wall on this side. So you can see we just had the wall on this side to hide the, the side of the bed. But you could also build a frame uh, if your bed's going to be more in the middle of a wall. So the basic construction here, I just built the frame uh, to look like shelves and to be useful as shelves. You just have to move the stuff off. Um, when you're ready to put the bed down. That's all uh, one by poplar and uh, it's, I think we got one by four here and then at the bottom uh, some and on the sides it's one by six. And then I just routered the edges of the sides just to make it look a little fancier here. Up at the top I built these legs that go in and out. They just they're just on a bolt and those are also out of one by uh, six um, maybe cut down a little bit to fit um, in there and then I just rounded the the one side so that it could uh, basically just rotate out. The base for the bed, uh, the back of the bookshelf, is just a finished, a veneered plywood. And that's just cut into a few pieces. Now one thing, one lesson I learned is that uh, it's kind of creaky, the bed's kind of creaky. So I would, before attaching this plywood to the all the frame uh, you should probably glue the back side of those glue all of that and then nail it in um, or screw it in uh, might even work better and that should avoid some of the creakiness of it down here this is how I attached it so I basically just got hinges uh, these are, I believe, they're, they're gate hinges for an outdoor gate. And you can see I've got three of those, and they're about, oh, I don't know, six to eight inches. And the bolts are, I've bolted these into, obviously you want to bolt them directly into studs, because this is a fair amount of weight uh, going on here. Now this is also the headboard, so you can see when, when we put the bed down uh, that the headboard here is going to go, the, the, that, that contains the bed within it. So we've got about 8 inches of headboard, and then I just bracketed that onto this bottom shelf. So that's how that's attached. When you're ready to take it down, you can just take the books off pretty quickly and just stack them up on the shelf there. And if you wanted to get really fancy, you could uh, stick some pictures on, on this upper part or anywhere in here. They would just have to be affixed somehow so that when you pull it down, it, uh, they stay on there. So we just pull that out. And you may want to have some kind of safety mechanism, like a rope, that holds this up. I don't. Here's the feet, they just swivel and lock into place. 
These are one by six pieces of poplar just bolted in and you could go with something sturdier if your kids are going to be jumping on the bed. Uh, you could use a two by four instead. And this just folds down. Here it is with the mattress off. Uh, this is the plywood base and of course it doesn't have to look very pretty. So this, this is the hole in the drywall where I've got a little bracket around it that uh, holds the dowel in when the bed is up. I made the depth about 10 inches and this would accommodate uh, most mattresses. You don't use a box spring. You can.